explain the look. We'll ask, we'll look at Lolo Kiko, Pope Francis, and ask, ask him to pray with us before we start the meditation. Walk with me, Jesus, as I ponder the meaning of my faith. Open my mind and heart to your words that I might not only understand them, but also let them touch my life at the deepest level. Help me to truly look at the beauty and importance of my faith and to stay close to you in all I do. Amen. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Buenas tardes a todos. Anyway, um, I am Father Jose Antonio Santos Calves. Father Jerry Santos Santos. Kataka Father Jojo. His friends in Manila, they call Father Hodge Hodge in the parish. We are going to go to George Poet, the Hodge Hodge, the parish I call Monsi. So I am now stationed in Valenzuela and we have been called already by the bishops to continue our ministry, call it a ministry of going, sharing our talents to people like you who are so loved by the Lord. I am asked to give an orientation. It's going to be a bird's eye view, a panorama. What's going to happen in the coming hours, in the coming days? And what will be the content of this look at Jesus Center? If you don't mind, I would like you to ask you to walk with me down the lane of history. <coughs> Say, if we know our history, we will never repeat the same mistakes again. So, it was not 1521, it was three years before 1518. There was a Portuguese that was burned by the king because of his outlandish idea. Fernando Magallanes, or Fernando Magellan, went to the king of Spain and offered his idea. Let me go to the Spice Islands, not by the traditional route of going to uh, the east, but the other route going west. It was an outrageous idea because, alam ng tao, kapag pumunta ka sa kabilang dako, mahuhuli ka sa kapit. Because their paradigm, nung panahon nila, ang mundo, but he was a good um, salesman. Na kumpisi niya ang hari ang rey ng Espanya. So binigyan siya ng mga babo, binigyan siya ng sundalo. In fact, he was given a missionary, Pedro de Valderrama. Sige, punta ka in the name of the king of the court of Spain. Three years after precariously cross, crossing the wide Pacific Ocean, March 16, 1521, his eyes gazed on the island of Omanon. They say, and this is a debatable thing among historians, which I want, that they discovered the Philippines. No, it was not this. It was the first time that the Europeans touched our soil. So in Omanon, he replenished provisions. Tapos sige po, tumuling pa kayo, marami kayo makita settlements because he wanted to trade. He wanted to get spices, which was the oil during that time. Very precious commodity. So they arrived in what the place called by Antonio Figafeta as Lima Sawa. Now that's another debatable thing. If you're talking from the Messiah side of things, the Masawa is in the south of LinkedIn. Pero kung taga Mindanao ka, kung 
kliyente mo si Manny Pacquiao. So, sabi niya, sa butuan yun. But there is a strength, my, my dear friends, you want to go to Mahasi, a few hours from Mahasi, it's a beautiful site of the first mass where they held during Easter by Father Valderrama, and that's they call the Sawa. But Magellan had high dreams. He wanted to plant not only the flag but the cross. So he proceeded to the settlement, which we, is the center, the hub of the Cebuanos, Cebu City. So dum po sa lugar na may kiosk, if you go to Cebu, and I think it's been restored because of the earthquake, but there's a painting, and there's the cross of Manchela. Is that the actual cross? What's inside? They have protected it. So replica po it has the past. And a few meters is the basilica. Now, on that exact place, that happened at the first mass, but the first baptism. King Rahu Makon was married to the Queen Juana, and they were convinced to receive the sacrament of baptism. So, Padre Pedro de Valderrama administered the sacrament to the first followers, and as usual, po male own godfather. Ang nino ay si Fernando Magallanes. At doon natin nakuha ang ating ugali, pakingkin. You understand naman yung pakingkin? May regalo. And the gift to Reina Juana sa inaanak was a beautiful small statue of the infant Jesus, which is properly called in our, in this part of the world. And this is Lolo Kiko na bigla. Famous na famous na Santo Nino. Ito na po ang kwento. Sinabi nung inaanak sa Nino niya, meron akong katalo doon, may kalimbal na po doon sa kabilang isla, sa Magda. Sige na nga. Off he went, and he wanted to subjugate lahat lahat. But in the skirmish, kaya na po natin ang kwento, Napatay ni Lapu-Lapu, si Magella. Sino po po matay ni Lapu-Lapu? And Sebastian Alcano, the Pignende, which became the capital, the Capitan, continued the journey of the boat Victoria, and they went back to San Lucar in Espanya, to the other group. So in fact, it was very, very historical because it was the first time that the whole world was circumnavigated, which proved the great theory that the world is not flat, but the world is flat. Okay, fast forward, 1521, 20, so that was, that's the picture of the first baptism. So we are going to celebrate in a few years, 2021, 500 years. Mind you, my dear friends, this is now 500 years of evangelization. This is 500 years. We want to be very politically correct, quincentennial. Five centenaries of the first mass and baptism in the Philippines. Kasi po, sa ating Philippine church history, hindi pa nagsimula ang evangelization. Ang evangelization po nagsimula 1565 noong expedition ni Legaspi, Kapitan Legaspi, sa Cebu. So, Ang ating mga obispo, nagkaroon po sila ng palaisipan na darating ang makasaysayang araw o pecha ito, 2021. Ano ang magagawa natin? Hindi lang po ipagdiwang magkaroon ng pasinahin. Anong gagawin natin pag-ahanda? 
At ito na po ang kanilang inilabas noong ikasyam ng Hulyo, taong dalawang libo at labing dalawa, naglabas po ng isang pastoral exhortation, apostolic exhortation, ang pamagat po, the era of new evangelization, looking forward to our 500 year. At itinoon po nila na mula 2012, taon-taon, siya na taon po yan magkakaroon po ng mga tema. Magkakaroon po ng kanilang pagpapahalaga, pagpapaliwanag, at pagpapailanin ng mga iba't ibang paksa ng ating pananampalataya. Kaya, mawalang gala po, noong pong 2013, sa pamumuno po ng Episcopal Commission, ang Catechesis and Catholic Education, ang Eche, inunusat po ang Year of Faith. Nagkapon nga po eh, hindi tayo masyadong handa pa po eh. Hindi na, hindi na natin masyadong na pagdiwa. Bumawi naman po ang mga obispo sapagkat nitong nakaraang taon, ang Episcopal Commission ng Lady, ang Ekla, ang kanila po minilunsan ay ang Choose to be Brave Year of the Lady, yung mga Holy Heroes. Kaya yan po ay natapos nitong nakaraang Nobyembre at Trenta. So starting December 1, at this moment and hereafter, a year, we are now celebrating what we call the Year of the Poor. But let me remind you what happened transpired during this celebration of the year of the Lady. Naganap po dyan ang ginawang paghahanda ng mga iba't ibang lugar at pagsasaliwa, pagpapalik tanaw sa kahulugan ng Pinyan, Kumpil, Mahal na Bilhen at ang mga kahalagahan ng pagkabayani at pagiging banal. Yan po ang pinibili sa amin instructions sa mga obispo. Siguraduhin po ninyo na sa inyong pagpunta sa iba't ibang lugar ng ating bansa, maiparati at maibabawa ang mga mahalagang usapin ito. At kasama po sa marching orders namin, para kami mga sundalo, inutusan kami ng mga commander in chief. At sabi po, Unang-una ang mga ibibigay na seminar sa ating mga, mga kapatid, mahalaga ng pagkukulan ng pansin ang pagkubo. Let that be the key element for nation. Kaya nakikita natin sa aming mga seminar nito na karang taon, ang pagkubo po ay pinigyan namin ng karagdan ng kalaliman sa pangabayitan ng mga testimonya ng iba't ibang katao. Hindi naman po ang ginagawa ng information seminar. Bigyan din natin ng konti kalit na pakahusay ng lahing Pilipino. Lalo-lalo na sa celebration. Face to people tayo eh. Kahit wala ang okasyon, umagawa tayo ang okasyon. O, dita din ang haraan lang sa tulinyo. We can have celebrations, what have you, and we can celebrate it with much fanfare, much to it. And we that make it also that uh, that an important element of this seminar. Later on, you experience the prayers, the liturgy. It's going to be a whole process. So we are just adhering to what our uh, bishops, the hierarchy, has given as instruction. And let it be said, not only with much ardor, let it also bear fruit. We sinasabi ng tripod, magkaroon po ito ng ugat. Magkaroon ng legacy. Magkaroon ng bunga. Kasi ang, ang, ang sinasabi po, peligro. Kapag tayo nagsiselebrate, ang gusto natin, selebrasyon lang. Pero walang rali, mababaw. 
Kaya ang ating pong ang pag, paglalap dito sa semina, gagawang po tayo ng mga ibang ibang plano kung paano pa natin ito maipaparating at mapailabot sa ating mga kasama at mga kapatid. Ito na po ang puntos. Kumuha kayo ng isang formation program. Ito na po ang look at Jesus. Po. At ito po ay pagkakaloob sa panahon ng December of 2014 to November 2015. At ang kataon lang po na ang tala kasi binigyan ng daan natin ang pagbisita ng Santo Papa. Kaya hindi mo na namin. Baka magkagulo-gulo. Maraming handa ang iba't ibang mga dialysis. Ang pagtutuwa na ng pansin, ano ang bibigyan natin ng diin, ang kakapatid? Unang-una, alalahanin sa seminar na ang ating pong binibigyan ng kaka-importansya ay una ang mga maralita at tuka. Nakatutok ito. Mass majority of our kababayans, our fellow Filipinos, are in abject poverty. I am not saying poverty, abject poverty. And alam naman po natin ang katotohanan sa ating kanilang lugar. Hindi lamang po mang pagmaterial. Siguro doon din natin po may elemento ito ng kalo at spiritual. Tutukan din lang po natin ang ikalawa ang mga taong lumayo na. O sabi ko sa ikangan, sabi sa bulakan, nalalik sa pananampalatake. Tama po ba yun? Alam naman natin na para malakas ang competition. Para kayo nasa business eh. 